is believing. Following a one and a half hour aerial tour of flooded areas in our region Saturday afternoon, Chat News caught up with provincial officials as they landed back in Medicine Hat. You can see it in your mind's eye when people tell you what happened, but then you go over and you look at the damage that was caused. There's so many of those fields that are still draining that uh, it's going to take us a little while to figure out uh, the total extent of the damage. But from, from what we've seen today, uh, it's extensive. I think all of us on, on the flight were uh, contemplating what will happen if we get a lot more rain on, in those creeks and uh, a lot more rain standing. I mean, the, the ground appears to be saturated, so where is it going to go? And that's the concern that we have. Environment Minister and local MLA Rob Renner was also along for the tour to witness what he calls a real lesson in the power of Mother Nature. My role will uh, be as the MLA to uh, certainly advocate on behalf of the, the individuals who have suffered damage that, uh, that we institute uh, uh, compensation programs and, and begin, begin the process to, to get those up and running as quickly as possible. We're uh, uh, very cognizant of the fact that this is not over, uh, that there are things that have to happen yet. There is going to be discussion around compensation. There is obviously a tremendous blow to agriculture in the area, a tremendous blow to people's livelihoods uh, and their homes. This is the reality our cameras caught just hours into the flood. The question now is if that compensation will come. Past history has indicated uh, that uh, this is the, the kind of, uh, of event that uh, inevitably uh, qualifies for, for funding. So uh, um, I, I, you know, I'll just be making sure that, uh, that we move as quickly as possible. In the meantime, Renner says those affected need to document any damage and take pictures. We need to keep in mind too that uh, that any kind of disaster relief program only covers uninsurable damage and so people should be also checking with their insurance company uh, to find out whether any damages that, uh, that they have uh, incurred would be covered under their homeowner's policy. For now, local officials say they anticipate a busy few weeks ahead. Ina Sidhu, Chat News.